Hi, in this problem we're going to be doing this integral. This is from a really old book I have. It's called Integral Calculus. And it was published in 1917 and it was written by a person named H.P. Phillips. And he was an assistant professor at the Massachusetts uh, Institute of Technology, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, assistant professor, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, H.P. Phillips. And the book is called Integral Calculus. And this is a really simple problem, but I thought, you know, let's go ahead and do something a little bit easier because everyone has to start somewhere. So this is an integral from calculus. And in order to do this problem, there is one formula that you need. It says if you have the integral of x to the n with respect to x, this is equal to x to the m plus 1 over m plus 1 plus c. Now this formula as it's written here is not completely complete. It's missing something. It's missing the fact that n cannot be equal to negative 1. If n were negative 1, you would divide by 0. If you're curious, when n is negative 1, there's a different formula and it is this one. However, in our specific example, all of the n's are okay. None of them are negative 1. You have 4, 3, and 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. So for this one, it's x to the 4. So you just add 1 to the 4, so it's x to the 5. And then you divide by the 5. Minus 3 times, this one's x cubed, so you add 1, so it's x to the 4. And then you divide by 4. Plus 5 times, this one is x squared, so it's x cubed over 3. And you're just missing the c. So basically all we did was we added one to the exponent every time, right? So four plus one is five, divide by five. Three plus one is four, divide by four. Two plus one is three, divide by three. And the numbers hang out. Typically you don't leave your answer like this. It looks pretty ugly. So I'm gonna pull out all the constants like this. One fifth, x to the fifth, minus three fourths, x to the fourth, plus five third, x cubed, plus c. And that would be the answer to the problem. And we can check our answer because this wonderful book has solutions to all of the problems. This book, by the way, uh, I'm pretty sure it's out of print. So, yep, there's the answer there. And that looks like what we got, right? Three fourths, five thirds, one fifth. Three fourths, five thirds, one fifth. Yep. Yeah, awesome, right? Very, very cool. So hopefully, if you didn't know calculus, you've learned a little bit. At least you can do some basic integrals. Good luck.